Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about some problems. Red Dead Online problems. Let's face it, things haven't been the most lively in the community lately ever since Rockstar switched to making weekly events last a lot longer by turning them into monthly events, and that trend is likely to continue here going forward, especially with the April event just right around the corner, and that's going to be for, you know, whatever certain role it is, likely the naturalist with sampling animals, or the collector role since we haven't seen those bonuses in quite a bit. But besides these slightly larger and longer weekly updates that are lasting four or five times as long now, we haven't seen any other action on Rockstar's part to fix outstanding issues this game still has when it comes to certain problems, and in this video we'll be cataloging all of that. While Rockstar did implement patches and fixes for bugs and other game problems with the Blood Money update, that update also brought about more problems, and I think that all of us want to see those issues fixed. New content is very important too, but in the meantime, just some support by the developers during this extreme drought period, I think, would help keep those active players on the game longer and maybe prevent even those players from getting totally burned out. So let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Now, if you experience any problems as well, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure I won't mention everything here, but these are the problems that I face consistently and constantly when I'm play, but I'm sure there are tons more and I would love to be informed of what's happening on your end as well. And it also should be noted that the only things and fixes for problems that Rockstar has been implementing recently and that they have implemented recently have been in regards to security fixes for the social club and on Red Dead Online side or the in-game security for Red Dead Online, which were basically just changes and fixes, essentially copied over from what they did to GTA Online to fix the tech spam and the social club invite spam and all that. There have been a lot of security breaches recently for Rockstar Games products and Red Dead Online has seen some fixes for those. But moving into the actual actual game problems. Rockstar actually removed some content with Blood Money in the form of Stranger Missions. Granted, of course, with that update, they also now allow you to choose which missions you want to do as a player from a specific stranger. But in the case of Hamish, for example, out at his Katora Springs location, Rockstar removed some of the wagon and boat recovery and retrieval missions and basically just left on the hunt as a mission for you to play. Other strangers, of course, don't include all the playable missions at any one time on the list when you try and access them. So sometimes what you can do to actually get other missions to pop up would be just playing one, returning later, and that list will be refreshed in a different order and maybe with some new missions. But there's absolutely some stranger missions out there that are not playable anymore. For example, the ones with Hamish or Trelawney where you don't get the boat recoveries anymore from roads. Developers, I think, should never remove content from a game like this. You know, I could understand the argument for cycling out special PvP modes to keep them limited time and keep things fresh, and also help guide the limited player pool that Red Dead Online has so there's not, you know, a lot of players just searching in empty PvP lobbies, just hoping and waiting for someone to join. But when it comes to free roam content, I see no reason that Rockstar should be removing stuff from the game like this. Another major problem is opportunity missions still take away certain types of player ammo, like normal rounds, express ammunition, and you're also left with high velocity or explosive ammo for like repeaters and rifles and things like that. And in the case of shotguns specifically, a player can only use slugs. Now, when you return to the free roam, the problem goes away, right? But for the instanced opportunity-based mission, you have these problems, you can't use the specific ammo you want, and it is pretty frustrating because a lot of the times it just defaults to explosive ammo anyway, and you may be wasting some of that ammo. Another problem, weapons still glitch down a player's shoulders and their back when you turn in bounties, or with blood money crimes, when you carry one of those saddlebags over your shoulder, your guns basically get smushed into the middle of your character's back and ride up and down their spine, which just looks really awkward in my opinion. These are more cosmetic problems and glitches, but it's still something that Rockstar should fix because the weapons glitch, particularly with bounties, has been in the game since the Bounty Hunter update released from Frontier Pursuits, right? 
And it, it, to me, you know, I'm not a game developer, obviously, but to me, it seems like the glitch is happening. Of course, you turn in a bounty and the game is registering that you completed the mission. So you get paid, etc. But the game doesn't actually register that you have the bounty that's over your shoulder. It doesn't actually register that that bounty has been removed from your shoulder. So the game constantly thinks that something is weighing those weapons down. And that's why the easy way to fix that glitch is to just skin an animal or pick up a carcass, throw it over your shoulder and then throw it off your shoulder. And that weapon glitch will fix. But other than that, it's going to stay like that basically forever or until you turn in a new bounty and sometimes it fixes itself. Another big problem. We've been unable to skip cutscenes for content now since the Blood Money update. Legendary bounties you can't skip the cutscenes for anymore. And the Land of Opportunity missions, for example, you can't skip those cutscenes. Now again, it may not be the biggest problem for a lot of players, but in the example of the Edda Doyle bounty, when you're just trying to farm that bounty for a lot of extra money, like we have with the triple money and triple XP event, you can't actually skip that cutscene cutscene anymore. You have to watch it and that gets extremely repetitive. You know, it, it was great watching those cutscenes for the first time to experience a little bit of the narrative and the lore and stuff, but if you're going to be farming and repeating content over and over, it's going to get extremely repetitive if you need to sit through a two-minute cutscene every single time you want to play that mission. I don't know why they removed that ability. I don't know if it was a glitch or if they just Rockstar made the conscious decision to say, hey, we don't want to allow players to skip cutscenes during our missions anymore, but that's starting to get on my nerves a lot because I'm still playing this game to this day and I have to watch these cutscenes over and over and over with no option to skip them. Next up, God mode and off the radar. You know, honestly, I'm not hopeful for these being fixed as they have been in the game for a while. And they are the exact the exact same problems that Rockstar still hasn't addressed in GTA Online either. But I should bring it up in this video again because we did one at the end of 2021 on issues that need to be fixed, hoping that we would get like a winter DLC. We never got that. And these problems still consist and persist to this day. God mode and off the radar need to be addressed in some form. But again, I have no hope because we haven't seen fixes for it in GTA. We're probably not going to see fixes for it in Red Dead. Next up, outlaw passes or quick draw club passes in the meantime between content updates. You know, the Quick Draw Club did help us savor a full 100 level outlaw pass, but those still need to be introduced month by month with these events for them to have any lasting value. And I just also want to talk quickly about how Rockstar doesn't put seasons of content into their games, right? So they just have these content drops and DLCs and expansions for GTA and Red Dead two times a year usually that just drop everything at once, and then that leaves the months leading up to the summer and winter updates for their games to be an extremely dry time with nothing to look forward to, and at least having an outlaw pass or a Quick Draw Club season in that meantime, like especially during these monthly events right now, that would be the perfect opportunity for that. And I think that would at least keep players a little bit more entertained and playing the game for longer than they are right now, if they're still playing. So I just wanted to bring up all those major problems that we need to see fixed, whether it's glitches or, you know, content fixes or if it's just something to do with content in general. I didn't want to talk about content in this video, but I did want to mention that final note about Outlaw Passes and Quick Draw Club Passes. We should never have gaps in between them. And there was a time with Outlaw Pass 3, four, five, and then we had quick draw clubs with blood money where we didn't have gaps in between those quick draw clubs and the outlaw passes. But now we're back to that where we have these major droughts and we don't see anything until the next DLC update. And since that isn't really considered DLC, right? It's just small cosmetic content. That stuff should be coming consistently throughout the year, every month, every two months, whatever the case is, but we don't see that. So with all that said, I think we'll be wrapping things up right here. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know again, what problems you face here in game that you would like to see Rockstar fix in the next update, whenever that is. Also pay attention to our Tuesday update newswire coming out on April 5th, where we're gonna be talking about the newest event in Red Dead Online, since that is starting on the 5th. Hopefully you get with some news of, of the next update. I'm not hopeful for that, but we'll just see at the very least, let's hope this next monthly event since the bounty hunter one was pretty good in my opinion with the bonuses and even the discounts i hope this next one whether it's naturalist collector moonshine or whatever it is i hope it's decent because now we're entering month five of these monthly events and i think players are getting extremely dissatisfied unhappy and very impatient with what's going on so hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with the best red online and rockstar games content consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consistently talk about news updates information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms you could follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below with that being said thank you all so much for watching everyone hope you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next red dead online video adios amigos